a beautiful day at our church today, a beautiful day at your house. Would you come pray? Would you come sing? Won't you join our hope group? It's Father Forty's neighborhood, a land of church and family love. Won't you come and pray with me? Come and pray. It's Father Forty's neighborhood, so much to learn, so much to do. Won't you come and pray with me? Come and pray. I've got lots of friends for you to meet. In this hope group you will see a friendly face for you to see just waiting to teach you. It's a beautiful day at our church today, a beautiful day at your house. Father Forty's neighborhood. Good morning everyone. Welcome to our hope group this morning. We are still celebrating we're in the midst of celebrating, I should say, our church's feast day for St. Demetrius. His feast day was Tuesday, October 26th. And that is the day, historically, that he died. And we celebrate name days, feast days, for people or for churches, because every church is dedicated to a saint or to an event in the life of Christ or the Virgin Mary. And St. Demetrius' feast day is October 26th. And part of our celebration of our church's name day, as we are dedicated to St. Demetrius, is to decorate his icon with beautiful flowers to show how much we appreciate him and love him. Because St. Demetrius is alive. He's alive with Christ. And the example of his life by refusing to obey the emperor's decree to go and to persecute Christians, he came forward and said, no, I cannot take my soldiers and persecute Christians because I am a Christian. And so St. Demetrius was thrown into prison and then ultimately he was killed while in prison because of his Christian faith. So you see that our saints have boldness and courage. They're not afraid to proclaim Jesus to the world. One of the most amazing things about St. Demetrius is that when he died, his body was pierced with lances. So a lance is kind of like a knife on the end of a, on the end of a stick. And so they took those lances and they stabbed his body and his body began to bleed myrrh. So myrrh is a very sweet smelling substance which we might try to create with different aromas from plants and trees and so forth. It's kind of how they make perfumes. But the amazing thing about St. Demetrius is that his body was emitting this myrrh. In other words, it was flowing from his body when, when they killed him. And the crazy thing is that after he died, his body decomposed, but his bones have not decomposed. In other words, his bones are not white and brittle, but they were brown and yellow, and they are in a state between corruption and incorruption. So his bones are alive, and they are constantly to this day, for 1600 years, continuously sweating myrrh, a very sweet, oily substance that has miraculous, miraculous powers too, as you can just imagine, because this is a very unnatural thing for our bones to exude myrrh. But this is one way where God is showing the entire world that St. Demetrius loved him. And so the church recognizes this, and many people have the name Demetrius or Demetra, and so they celebrate on October 26th as their name day and the church celebrates our name day because Saint Demetrius is our patron saint. So what we do in the church is we will decorate icons. So icons really are like pictures that we might have in our home, photographs of different events in our in our family, things that we remember such as baptisms or a wedding or maybe just a special occasion where the entire family gets together and a photo is taken. And for special photos or things that we really like to remember, we will hang on our walls and to remember those events as if that it had happened that day. 
we keep this memory. Well, icons have the same kind of purpose as well as helping us to pray and so forth. As we remember our beloved saints and ask them for their intercessions because they are truly alive. So Saint Demetrius, our beloved saint, we honor him, we celebrate his feast day, and I wish all of you, Kron your Pala, many years if you celebrated your feast day on Tuesday for Saint Demetrius, and wish you many, 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 many years. God bless you, and have a wonderful it's day. It's a beautiful day at our church today, a beautiful day at your house. Father, Fonti's neighborhood.